In this video, I am going to show how to download and install MainGW on Windows operating system. So let's get started. At first, open your favorite web browser and search for MainGW for 64-bit operating system and browse the official website of MainGW. Okay. Now click on the downloads link, scroll down and then click on this msys2, scroll down, now click here, okay. At first download the installer click here to download I already have downloaded it on my machine so after a successful download go into the downloads folder and open this installer okay now click on the next button and select the desired location where you want to install mainzw this is the default installation directory you can change this click on the browse button and choose the installation directory then click on next click on next it may take a while for installing that's it the installation has finished Check this box and click on finish. Now MSYS2 is ready for you. Now copy this command and paste here. Hit enter. Now type Y to continue installation. It may take a while for downloading the necessary packages. Let's verify the installation. Write this command gcc hyphen hyphen version. Hit enter. That's it. Also, you can verify it on command prompt vcc hyphen hyphen version if you see gcc is not recognized as an internal or external command operable program or batch file on command prompt to solve this issue you need to set the path environment variable for mean gw go into the local disk c and then navigate to this folder and then navigate to this folder then bin subfolder okay now copy this path and open edit the system environment variables from control panel then click on environment variables now go into the system variable section to set the path for the all users of the system select path and then click on edit now click on new to add a new path first here and click on ok 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 now exit command prompt and then reopen ok now write this command here gcc hyphen hyphen version 
that's it and also write g plus plus hyphen hyphen version that's it c compiler and gnu c plus plus compiler installed successfully on windows 11 in the next video i will show how to compile a c or c plus plus program from common prompt so if you like this video like comment and share thank you so much for watching this video